Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my November favorites. Before I get into it, I don't want anybody talking about my great to hair, okay? I haven't washed it. I'm actually about to wash it right now when I'm done filming this video. I'm so sorry that this video is going up so late. I think this is the first time since I started my channel that my favorites video is going up this late in the month. I am so ashamed of myself. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. How did I forget? The days are just running by me. I was looking at my calendar and I was like, I never posted my favorites video. I was shocked, I literally shocked. But it's okay, better late than never, right? Yes. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about some of my favorite products from the month of November. Not everything is makeup, which is exciting, but there, there is a lot of makeup, so let's get into it. Okay, so this product truly shocked me. I have a whole video on this guy where I tried it out. For, well, it wasn't a first impressions, but I hadn't been using it for that long. I was really new to it, and I was completely on the fence with this. I was like, do I like it? Do I hate it? And it turns out I love it. I honestly I'm obsessed with it. I want to do my brows with this all the time now. Once you get the hang of it, it is so easy to use and you do your brows in literally five seconds. This is the fastest product I've ever used in my brows and I gotta be honest, although I love brows and I love how my brows look when I'm done with them, I hate the process of doing my brows. It takes so long and it's always why I completely skip it in my tutorials and I always start with my brows on because it's just so tedious, so time consuming, but this is so quick and I don't know how I fell in love with it as much as I did because I really was on the fence for a while there. I was like, man, this is making my brows look really chunky. It doesn't look realistic. The strokes are not fine, but it's just a matter of practice. It's a matter of getting used to this. And the more you use it, like the lighter pressure you apply and the easier it gets. You really have to play around with this. It's the brow product I have on right now. Let me zoom you in. And I mean, I'm still working with it. I'm still trying to perfect my technique. I'm trying to make it look even more realistic, but I think that it really looks like my natural brow hairs. Like a lot of these little strokes are fake and it just gives your brows such a beautiful natural romantic look I love it I just pop this on my brows throw on my nude sticks brow gel and that's it and I'm obsessed I actually picked up a backup on Black Friday when the whole site was 20% off so I honestly think it's amazing and I completely take back what I said in that video about being on the fence I'm not on the fence anymore I'm, I'm on this side of the fence now. I was gonna say I was on the other side of the fence, but I don't like the thought of being on the other side of anything, so. Okay, so my next product I am loving, 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 loving. I love bronzers like this. This is the Makeup Revolution Bronzer Reloaded in the shade Take a Vacation. This is the most sheer, barely there sheeny bronzer ever. It gives you the most beautiful, sun-kissed, dewy glow to the skin. I can't even describe it. It's definitely one of my favorite shimmery bronzers I've ever used, and I know that I've talked about a lot of them on my channel before, but there's something about this one. I don't know if it's because it's so sheer that I just swirl a big giant brush in here and just dust it all over my face, and it just like melts into the skin, and it has like this golden sheeny vibe. I mean, obviously I have blush on, I have highlight, but I just add it on top of my bronzer and it gave my face some life. I definitely think it will be too light for you if you have a deep skin tone, but if you're on my skin tone or lighter, I think you would really, really like this. And I personally think it's a bronzer that works year round. It's not too shimmery and too golden and too warm where you're like, oh, this is a summer bronzer. No, I really think it is a universal bronzer that works year round that just gives your skin a beautiful glow. I mean, there's no other way to describe it. It's really, really good and so affordable. Oh my gosh. The entire golden hour line from M Cosmetics is so beautiful. Beautiful. I was wearing the eyeshadow palette the other day on Instagram like in my stories and so many of you guys were asking me what was on my eyes It is stunning. I love that eyeshadow palette and I love that it's like little and it comes in like a little Geometric shape so adorable the whole line is really beautiful, but I have been loving this blush so so much This is the heavens glow blush in the shade magic hour and this is what it looks like and it's beautiful I love this packaging first of all it has this really beautiful like peachy nude yummy packaging and it has this really nice mirror inside the packaging is nice and heavy really good but the actual blush inside is beautiful I'm wearing it on my cheeks right now but I actually have mine like packed on this is such a soft blush it kind of gives you a barely there glow but when you really pack it on it can get really pigmented and it honestly depends on how I'm feeling with this blush sometimes I like something a little lighter on the cheeks or sometimes I like something a little bit Bit more aggressive like I did today even though this isn't aggressive <laughs> but I just added a little bit more than I do like on a daily basis and that's what I love about this blush like you can apply and apply and apply and it never looks too much it always looks 
so stunning on the cheeks. It has a really beautiful sheen to it. I'm all about sheeny makeup these days. I, I mean, I've always been that way. I don't love a matte finish. This blush is absolutely stunning. There's something so unique about it. I can't even describe it. I don't know if you can tell on my cheeks, but it's a pink, but when you move your cheeks around, it almost has this really beautiful golden undertone. It's like a pinky orange. It looks so beautiful on the cheeks. And even though it does have a glowy finish, it doesn't emphasize your pores. It doesn't look too shimmery. It doesn't look too much. You know the Pat McGrath blush I just recently bought? It was in my Sephora and Ulta haul. That's a really beautiful blush that gives you a nice sheen, but if you apply too much, it will emphasize texture and it'll look a little bit powdery. You can pack this mofo on and it'll never look powdery and it doesn't emphasize texture. It's so nice. It gives you a beautiful golden glow. I feel like it's so ethereal and beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, this foundation is beautiful. I know I haven't been using it for that long. I just recently got it, but I have completely fallen in love with it. I recently purchased three foundations and this is the one that I keep going back to. I also really like the Zoeva one and the Kiko one, but out of the three, this one is definitely my favorite. It's the perfect combination of hydration and full coverage. Like it covers up everything, but it still looks like skin and it still looks really beautiful. I don't know how it looks so flawless, yet so natural at the same time. It's absolutely stunning, I love it. The only thing I don't like about this foundation is the packaging. I mean, I like that it's in a pump, I just don't like that there is no like lock. Like I can't twist the cap and lock it, so if I wanna travel with this, I'm afraid that this will push down in my bag and that'll get foundation everywhere. The packaging is a bit messy, like I always have to clean this here because there's no like cap or anything, it's a little bizarre. But besides the packaging, this foundation is beautiful. If you have dry skin but still want coverage and that glamorous look, I think you'll really like this. And then I really quickly want to touch on this concealer because I know that the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer, I tell you guys all the time, that's my number one favorite concealer, but oh my gosh, this one is competing for it. This one is giving me this one is giving it a run for its money and I know I've said it a thousand times, but I never set this concealer. This is like the best most creaseless concealer I've ever used. I feel like it rarely sinks into my lines. I'll even put some around my mouth and it doesn't sink into my smile lines. It's such a nice smoothing concealer. I love this so much. I'm in the shade 11 light medium. And honestly, I have been reaching for this more than my Jouer one. You know what, I'm gonna put them to the test. I'm gonna do one side Jouer, one side dose and see how I feel because right now, this one is slowly coming up to the top of my list, like best concealers of all time, which is crazy. I, I didn't think something would ever replace my Jouer one, but I think it might. I don't I, don't hold me to that that statement just yet but I think so okay let's talk about some lip products before I dive into non makeup favorites I have mainly lip glosses to share but I have to talk about this lipstick so when wild recently sent me this PR package that had a ton of lipsticks in them and it was such a nostalgic package to me because how many of you guys have been around since the day that I did the not many of you that was <laughs> I had first, that's when I first started my channel. When I did the lip swatches of all of the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks. Do you remember that? I was still living in Mississippi. But I just felt so nostalgic when I was opening that package because there were so many Mega Last lipsticks and I feel like all of them were completely new, completely different. I feel like I hadn't seen any of them. And so I was looking through a bunch of them and I came across this shade. This one is called Java and I have been using it so much. I used it for the first time in a makeup tutorial earlier this month and I have been using it nonstop. It's the lipstick I'm wearing on my lips right now only I have on the ColourPop BFF lip liner underneath and then I have a nude lip gloss on top but I only added a little bit of the lip gloss on top the rest of it is pretty much this lipstick and what I love the most about this lipstick is it is a cream but it has a little bit a little bit of like a sheen to it I don't know if you can tell it has like these light reflecting little little sh not shimmers I honestly don't know how to describe it because you honestly can't tell until you look up close that there are little shimmies in here but it doesn't translate on the lips it just makes your lips look extra shiny honestly and that's truly what I love about it this lipstick is so good and it's so cheap it's like less than three dollars the only thing I don't like is the scent it has like that old-school classic play-doh lipstick kind of scent I feel like all of the drugstore lipsticks smelled like this when I was in middle school but yeah besides that this is really good stuff I highly recommend you check out this lipstick especially if you like these brownie tones It has a little bit of like a mauve undertone is beautiful okay I have to talk about this really quick. So, I don't know who tweeted it. I'm not exactly sure. I have the world's worst memory. But somebody tweeted the other day asking for an opinion on everybody's favorite lip balm. And Jay Kissa, I remember who replied to it. <laughs> Jay Kissa responded like, oh my god, the Kosas. Actually, I don't know how to say this brand. Kosa? Kosas? Kosas. Kosa? I don't know. I'm sorry. 
Jake has responded and she was like, oh my god, the Kozas lip balm is the best lip balm of life. You should definitely check it out. And so I did. It wasn't directed towards me, but I went to go check out that lip balm and I love this lip balm. At first, the packaging really did throw me off because I didn't like the fact that it was this shape. So I was like, what the heck, this is so weird. But I actually love this shape because my lips fit perfectly in this little thing. I honestly go like this and apply the lip balm like this and it's such a thick, amazing freaking lip balm. It's really good. And it has hyaluronic acid in it, which is nice. But I have been using this for like everything, like right before bed, in the morning. I don't use it as like a base for lipsticks or anything, but when my lips are trapped like they have been, especially now that it's cold in Miami, cold in Miami. My lips have been getting so freaking chapped and this has been coming in clutch, let me tell you. This is such a good lip balm. Definitely check it out. Okay, I have been loving these lip glosses, which is crazy because I feel like I haven't used them at all on camera or talked about them at all. Two of them being more nudes, I'll talk about these first. This is the Artist Couture lip gloss in the shade Uncensored and this is the Alamar Cosmetics lip gloss in Mommy Spice Latte. I love these lip glosses kind of like for the same reasons. They're both very, very pigmented. They kind of have like that sticky touch to them. They're not like tacky and gross, but they have a little bit of stick to them which makes them very long wearing, like they stay on your lips for a long time. Especially this Alamar one is like very long wearing, but I like that the formulas are a little thicker, more pigmented, and your lips just look extra juicy whenever you have these lip glosses on. The only thing I will say is you have, well, I have to use a lip liner whenever I use these because they are so pigmented. They're not one of those lip glosses that are sheer and you can just throw on your lips without a lip liner. I feel like because it's so pigmented, I have to like overdraw my lips a little bit and get the shape nice and right so that I can get a really juicy looking pout. You know what I mean? And then whenever I do that, my lips just look so juicy. I love these glosses. I love this one because it's kind of like a peachy warm color, but it has a little bit of sparkle in it. And it's not like thick glitter. You don't feel it on your lips at all, but it gives you like this yummy, sheeny, peachy glow to the lips. Makes your lips look extra juicy. And I love the tone of this nude. Very rarely do I ever find nudes that have like this yummy cafe con leche kind of undertone, like a really, really light brown. It's not like too pink. It's the perfect like brownish light nude. It's so so nice. I really really love it I have a little bit of this color on top of Java from wet and wild and I love that combo Actually, let me add a little bit more. I only added a little bit earlier and then this gloss, I love it for a completely different reason. I have been really into either super juicy pigmented glosses like those or these super cool sheer transparent glosses that just give you a hint of color but make your lips look extra juicy, extra wet, and extra amazing. So this is the Shine On Lip Jelly Gloss from Tower 28 and this color is called XOXO and it's like their raspberry red shade. Guys, this is freaking stunning. I want to do a freaking nail polish like this. Can you imagine a juicy, jelly, transparent red? Ugh, done. I'm doing it. This gloss is so stunning because it gives you like an intense color, but it's so sheer at the same time. It just makes your lips look really juicy. I have naturally very pigmented lips, so on me, this color looks even more red, but I don't mind it. It's such a beautiful, juicy shade, and I feel like I don't need to put on a lip liner when I use this because it does have like that sheer element to it. I really, really, really love this lip gloss. And I really hope that Tower 28 comes out with uh, lighter shades, like a lighter pink. I really love the orange one too. Beautiful. It's not as juicy and as sheer as this one, but I definitely hope to see more shades. And I really like this formula a lot, so I thought I would mention it. Very juicy. Okay, so we have a couple more things to talk about. Hang in there. I really have to give a huge shout out to this freaking deodorant because I ended up loving this way more than I thought I was going to. I'm not super into this Kapari brand anymore. I feel like I used to be at first, but I have just been straying away from the whole coconut oil thing. Clogs my pores. I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of coconut oil anymore. But when I saw the amazing reviews on this, I don't know if I bought this off of Ulta or Sephora, but this is the Kapari coconut oil deodorant. And don't get me wrong, a part of me is like, is that gonna clog the pores underneath my freaking armpits? Because I'm not sure. I don't know. I know that it's like not great for my face But like is this gonna irritate my armpits over time because I freaking love it dude This is the best smelling deodorant I have ever used in my life like you stay smelling yourself like hours after you apply this deodorant at least I do it smells so good and it's strong in a really really good way It's not like uh, uh Kind of strong if you know what I meant by that. It's like the perfect amount of strong like I smell it right now and it just smells so yummy and delicious and it smells like coconut, but it's not coconut. 
Like, I wouldn't even say it smells that coconutty. Oh, it smells so good. My friend Stephanie described it as like a hair salon. I can kind of see that, like walking into a fresh, trendy hair salon. That's what this smells like, yeah. I don't know, I really like it so far. I love that it's vegan and that it's a natural deodorant. It's paraben free and aluminum free and all of that good stuff. And I love, love the scent. I don't find that I smell nasty throughout the day. It has really been working for me. And I had to, I had to shout it out because I'm crazy about the scent. Like, I love it so much. Have you guys seen the Brio Gio Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask that comes in this little bear? I was gonna say elephant. This is not an elephant, it's a bear. Guys, this is the cutest freaking packaging I have ever seen on a product in my life. I guess because it reminds me of that classic honey bear bottle that you used to buy your honey in back in the day. Do they still have that classic honey bear bottle? Do you know what I'm talking about? Brio Geo released, I think this is a limited edition product, a deep conditioning mask that's just like their original classic cult deep conditioning mask, only they added honey to it and they made it a little bit more hydrating. And I'm obsessed with this. I have been using this so much recently. I'm halfway through the bottle. It's so good. It's just as good as their original hair mask, which you know is one of my favorite hair masks of all time, which is why I was so excited about this. It's just as good as that, but it smells so incredible. I know their other mask smells good too, but this one just smells like honey, rich, delicious buttercream. Oh my, oh my gosh, this smells so amazing. You guys need to check this out. Mm, I would buy it just for the scent alone. My hair stays smelling like this even after I wash it. Like my hair just smells so good, feels so good. It's so hydrating. I freaking love this hair mask, it's amazing. And let me tell you something. Before I did my hair, which I haven't washed my hair since I did it, I need to wash it, that's disgusting. But before I cut my hair, I hadn't cut my hair in over a year. I hadn't done my hair in over a year. I completely neglected my hair for a long time. And products like this is what really kept me going. It's what really pushed me through this year because if it wasn't for Briogeo and my other hair products, my ends would have looked worse. And my, my ends looked really, really bad. Which by the way, so many of you guys were making fun of me for calling them tips. You're like, you don't call those tips? And I was like, oh, is that just like a Hispanic thing? Because Hispanics call them puntas, so we just like translate them to tips. I didn't realize so many of you guys didn't call it that. But anyway, I haven't cut my ends in a really long time. So I had to depend on good hair masks this whole year. And this is one of them, this is a really good one. So if it is limited edition, I would snag it up just to test it out because it's so, so good. Okay, and then, oh my gosh, I just realized my last two products are butterfly related. Okay, I'm gonna tell you a story really quick. Growing up, I never really liked butterflies. Not like the actual animal. What am I, a monster? I mean like butterfly print. I never really liked butterflies on anything. I was like not into that trend. And growing up, like in the 90s, that was a huge trend. But whatever, wasn't really into it. Recently, well, you know, the 90s are back and butterflies are such a huge trend right now. And oh my gosh, I have been so obsessed with butterflies more than ever. And it's such a coincidence that this trend is coming back in a time in my life where I feel like emotionally connected to butterflies in a sense. It's crazy because I'm going to go off on a tangent. I'm going to try not to. But in 2018, I kept telling myself 2019 was going to be a really big year for me. It was going to be a really big deal. And I don't know in what way, but I knew it was going to be big. And holy shit was it? I've had more changes in my life this year than I've had in a long time. And I'm someone who is not, how do I say this? I don't like change. I'm not very accepting of change. And it's something I want to change about myself because change is inevitable and necessary. Boy, is it necessary. And I really, really learned that this year. And I've kind of had like a more spiritual connection this year. I've always been a very spiritual person, but I feel like I've connected with that more than ever this year and I've had like this new connection to butterflies. It goes very, very deep and I, I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go deep into that because it has to do with like my grandma and all the stuff and spiritual things and all of that. But this year I have just fallen in love with butterflies like in general, like just the meaning behind butterflies and what they represent. So I love that the butterfly trend is here because I'm just really into butterflies. <laughs> I actually wanna get a butterfly tattoo and I wanna get it like right here, I think. I'm not sure yet. I don't know where, I just know I want it. But anyway, to make a super freaking short story long, I am obsessed with butterflies and I want butterflies on everything. I wanted to show you guys these sneakers because Air Force Ones are actually my favorite shoes ever. I love these sneakers. I wear these sneakers all the time. I have like the classic all white ones and I literally wear them like every day. I just throw on some leggings, put on a baggy graphic tee, and then throw on my white Air Forces. I just wear them all the time. I'm actually, <laughs> it doesn't match my shirt, but I'm wearing 
<laughs> Air Forces right now. You guys just don't know that because you only see from this up, you know. The point is, I love this shoe. They're so freaking comfortable. I can walk in Air Forces all day. And so I bought these shoes off of this brand called Drip Creations. For a long time, I kept calling it Dip Creations. But it's drip and you can actually find them on Instagram I actually just purchased another pair of butterfly shoes because they have so many different butterflies and so I bought some with like these purple holographic looking butterflies on them and I can't wait to get them in the mail but I bought these because the classic blue like 90s butterfly is my favorite and by the way this website just customizes I think like vans and air forces it's not like a variety of all different types of shoes it's just like those sneakers I believe but they have a lot of different options it's not just butterflies like they have Billie Eilish ones they have cherry ones there's a bunch of different ones and I just I love them so much I wear them so much and every time I I wear these sneakers somebody asks me like where I got them so I just thought I would mention them drip create chains definitely check them out they have so many cool designs and I just oh, I love these how cute are these so good oh and I also love that like they look like this on one side and then they look like this on the other like I love that they're just so cute and yeah I love them okay and then the last thing I have to talk about is my necklace and I know I know I know I know I know I know but listen guys this is my favorite necklace my sister has ever come out with ever 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 on her website and I know I've said that about several other things like there's so many zodiac necklaces I love like the coin one classic but I am obsessed with butterflies like I've said and this necklace is beautiful I have been wanting a butterfly necklace like this for so long but there's actually one from I think it's like M jewelers I'm not sure I'm not sure or it looks kind of similar to this but the butterfly is actually smaller this one is a little bit bigger so I really really love that and it still looks really dainty and small like on your chest and this one is actually a lot more affordable than that one but it's so beautiful and sparkly and just completely stunning look at this guy so look at that it has like these little crystals on it oh my god I love it, I love it, I love it. Yesterday I was wearing it with um, a necklace that's like Cubana and it was like layered and it looked so cute layered. I just I love butterflies and I love like little dainty pieces. So if you've been wanting some butterfly jewelry, this one is beautiful. And I actually love how it pairs with this month's seal bag. The December box is like very blingy and these little studs are freaking perfect. I feel like I can wear them with everything. Yeah, I just had to share that because I have been loving this so much and I feel like I never want to take it off now. Ever. But anyway guys, that completes this video. These were all the products I was loving in the month of November. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite product of the month was and maybe I'll check it out if I haven't already. But yeah guys, that's it. That completes this video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I actually picked up a backup on Black Friday when the whole site was 20% off, so. <laughs> Why did I hit my boob? Let me do that again. You know what I mean? Like, this comes off. Hmm. Confusing. And it has this really nice mirror inside. <laughs> Just wait. I actually picked up a backup when it. Actually.